In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you my five tips for drawing fur in colored pencils. I'm going to be demonstrating them in a step-by-step -step basis. There's a lot of value in the content that I have to offer and hopefully it will help you in drawing those cute little furry animals. Be sure to stick around until the end for my two bonus tips. everyone, for those of you who are new, I am Jessica Matheny, the artist of Jessica Matheny Fine Art. On this channel, I offer time lapses of my drawings and paintings as well as tutorials and tips. Let's get into my tips I'm going to be sharing with you in this tutorial. The supplies I'm using is Strathmore 400 series medium 80 pound drawing paper in the 6x8 size. I am using Faber-Castell Polychromos and Luminance colored pencils and I am blending with odorless mineral spirits and paint brushes. Occasionally, you might see me use a Derwent blender pencil. My first tip is to sketch in major fur details. This is especially going to help you if you are drawing long fur that looks more like hair. You don't have to sketch in everything, just what you think is enough so that you can judge where to fill in the other details later and not get lost in it. Drawing curly locks of hair or fur can be very easy to get lost in if you are going for realism. And it can cause you to spend more time on your work because you're constantly trying to remember where you looked at at your reference photo and then trying to incorporate it into your drawing in the same place. Yes, I have gotten lost plenty of times while drawing hair. I think it happens to us all, I'm sure. The next thing I do is go through my colored pencils and pick out potential colors I may use while comparing them to my reference photo. I may not use all the colors I select, but I like having options to select from so that I can spend less time selecting the colors I choose to actually use once I've begun the drawing. Next is to pick your base color for the area you are working on. I will look at my reference photo for the area I will be working on and select a few of the lightest colors that I see. Then I'll make strokes to fill in the entire area that I'm working on. Always make your strokes in the direction of the hair growth and fill it in. If you don't, it will not look realistic. Then I blend it to get the color into the paper and ensure that there are no white areas left. One of the most important things you can study about fur or hair is that they tend to clump together. If you draw hair spiraling out in all directions, that will never look realistic Fur on animals does not grow that way, and if you draw your strokes with even spacing, that can make it worse too. So when you block in an area with a base color, be sure to try and make clumpy hair shapes and draw uneven strokes. This is really important if you want your fur to look realistic. After blending the base color and making sure it is dry first if I'm using mineral spirits, I will add darker colors over the base color making it just slightly darker each time. There are times when I will fill in a really dark area first and I do this to help me judge that my values are right. I will repeat steps two and three as I progress with my drawing and while I'm waiting for an area to dry that I've blended, I will start step two in other areas. I will fill in my subject up to the edges of my sketch. I leave all the fine hair details on the outside edges for last once I've got my background filled in first. Once you have all of your subject blocked in besides the fine hair e details, fill in the background. I typically apply two to three layers and then blend them. I get the background done before I begin adding any of the final layers. If I'm doing a white background, I just skip this step. How I achieve my smooth backgrounds is with using odorless mineral spirits and a watercolor brush. I have a video on how I blend my colored pencils. If you would like to check that out, I will put a link in the description. My first bonus tip is something that I really like to do for making detail work a little easier. I like to use my Faber-Castell colored pencils first with my drawings, put in around four to six layers give or take, that depends on what subject I'm working on, and achieve almost all I can do with my Faber-Castell Polychromos first 
and then I'll use my luminance colored pencils on top of those. Faber-Castell colored pencils are oil-based and luminance are wax-based. So I can increase the amount of layers I can put on a drawing by doing this. And if I need to, I can alternate between Faber-Castell and luminance to maximize the number of layering I can do, one on top of the, the other. When you add final details to your subject, it is wise to go with contrasting color tones to make individual hairs stand out. For example, try to go with a light color of background when your subject is dark or black, and a dark background when your subject is light. You can also darken or lighten specific areas to bring out the hair in that area as well. Additionally, you can even darken or highlight certain areas of hair or fur to make them pop out more in your work. For example, I draw some white hairs and then draw with a black or a very dark color right next to those hairs and it will make the lighter hairs stand out more. Keep in mind though that you do not want to add white and highlight an area that should be in a shadow on an animal. That will make it look unrealistic. So be sure to only do that to areas that are already highlighted. And now this drawing is nearly complete. I am going to be adding in those final detail layers in just a bit. If you have any questions about how I draw fur that I may not have covered in this video, feel free to just comment and ask. I am happy to answer any questions you have. And if you have any suggestions of future videos that you'd like to see me do, I would like to hear what you would like to see. tips for drawing fur? Let me know in the comments section. I did do a previous video on how to draw fur in graphite. If you haven't already seen that video, I will put a link in the description box. You can go ahead and check that out. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, feel free to subscribe.